Bass players, ever find a piece of gear that you didn't think you needed and then you tried it and then you realized you couldn't live without it? This is it, the DCX bass by Origin FX. It's a tone shaper and an overdrive, and I use it all the time. I've used Origin FX stuff for years. I love the compressors, the Cali 76. The bass rig is out of this world. It's not only just a tone shaper, it's not just an overdrive, it's a tone improver. It does a couple of things for me that other pedals don't. It kind of gives some buoyancy to the low end, which is really nice, almost kind of that same feeling you get when you play into a room. Kind of like a, just a bigger, broader, more breathing bass. The high frequency on this, if you adjust it just right and get just enough drive on it, really has a wonderful harmonic content and it really the amp really tends to read that content and and push it through the speakers and so what you've got is you've got this kind of active moving low and high circuitry going on which really sounds inspiring and really makes you feel like what you're playing is what you intended i used it generally as a tone shaper i don't use it much as an overdrive it has a very cool overdrive setting if you just turn the uh, drive way up and put it into its overdrive mode. But I use it mostly as an EQ. And what I do generally is I'll, I'll set the level so that it'll match my guitar when it's in the bypass position. And then I'll see if I need any high frequency or low frequency. Um, I jump between the, the dark sound and the medium sound as it's, as it's labeled, which I think the medium sound tends to narrow the tone just a little bit and give it more mid-range, which is great because I can always add a lot more low end just by using the low frequency knob. The sound I've been using is in the medium setting with the low frequency up to about maybe one o'clock, two o'clock, and the high frequency setting, the same thing, about one or two o'clock. The level is set after I set the drive, the drive input, I just turn it up till it just feels like it's really buoyant, like it's really pushing into the amplifier as if it's spreading out just a little, but I don't go for any distortion whatsoever. That really tends to enhance the harmonics. When I'm looking for like a, an old school kind of vibe, um, like a, a classic P bass sound that you would get on an old record from the 70s, putting it on the dark mode is just magic. And it just, it gives you that kind of low bed and, and low focus that they got on those records. And to be able to recreate that right out of your rig or, or right through the speakers is, is really, really inspirational. My setting for the Megadeth sound that I'm using right now is right ahead of all my amplification. And all I do is I just push up the low frequency and the high frequency just until it, it reads without bogging down the amplifier. And um, I'll keep it in the medium setting and I'll move the drive up and down until it just kind of feels like it spreads just nicely without calling too much attention to itself. And then I'll move the output level so that it matches the on and off position. And that is the secret to my success on this upcoming tour, the Crush the World tour that we're on. So do yourself a favor, pick up the DCX bass. Don't cheat yourself out of a great tone. Go get one of these today.